All right, I'm not losing my mind. I'm not losing my mind. Welcome to my channel Bianca Skilgan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Today's video is my monthly unboxing video. I always love these videos because I like to open like presents, <laughs> right? And these boxes are like presents that I get myself. And so some of them are surprises, some of them I pick myself, and it's just fun to get these boxes. And I like to watch other content creators open their subscription boxes. So I would hope that it is fun for you guys to watch me open my subscription boxes. I also have no makeup on <laughs> or whatever is in these boxes we will put on my face. What boxes do I have this month? Every month I have my ice cream beauty box, my favorite box. $25 a month, five to seven full size beauty items. There's always a palette. It's usually all makeup. Sometimes there's a skincare thing here or there, but it's usually all makeup. Okay, then we have, this is my Ipsy Boxy Charm box. This is $30 a month, and it comes with five full-size items. And next month is going to be the Ipsy Icon box, and I just got the spoilers for it, and I love the Ipsy Icon box, let me tell you. And I am not excited about anything in there anything and I have really 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 been contemplating canceling this box and the only reason I still get the Ipsy Boxy Charm is for the Ipsy Icon so I you know I even talked about in months past canceling and not getting this Ipsy Boxy Charm but there was a product in here that I was hoping to get so I'll talk about that when we we get into here too the reason I still have this box okay then last but not least the box that I have because sometimes I have extra boxes because I am a shopaholic and I like to buy things. Okay, so I have a random white box. You're like, what is that, Bianca? Well, it is the ColourPop mystery box. They did a, I think it was like just a summer mystery box. It was $49. I actually am kind of late on the game on this. I got it after a whole bunch of content creators already had like videos about it up because I was like, I don't want to blow $49 on something that I'm not going to like. So I already know what's pretty much in this box because I've watched other content creators open theirs. Although not every box is the same. They're usually pretty similar though. I think it'll be a pretty good box though. I bought it because I thought I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have a good amount of ColourPop stuff, but I don't have like a giant collection of ColourPop. So for me, the mystery boxes are usually pretty worth it. I don't get a, a lot of repeats. I don't even usually get any repeats because I don't have a huge collection. So we'll see how that box is. Stick around because I will open all three of them and then at the end I will put the makeup on my face. All right, so if that sounds good and do you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. Awesome. Okay, let's start with the Ipsy box. Okay, so Ipsy has power picks and they pick two items for me, which are the power picks. I don't know what power picks. I don't know. I just keep doing that. And then three of the items I picked based on the quizzes that I take. I saw that in the spoilers for the month of July, they were going to have the Fenty perfume. Only the small size, but I was like, okay, I, I'm going to keep this box. I'm going to keep it for another month because I want that Fenty perfume. It is on my Sephora wish list, and I have actually gone into store to smell it, and I liked it. I thought it was good. So it has been on my Sephora wish list, and if I can get it in a box for less money, that is obviously beneficial. Then when July 1st came up and I was able to pick my choices, I was like, please either be part of the power pick, you know, have it already picked for me in the power pick or be one of my choices. It wasn't in any of that. It wasn't either of my two power picks and it wasn't in any of my choices. I already told you that next month for August is the icon box and I'm not excited about any of the spoilers. So for this month, July, I was excited for a spoiler or two and it wasn't in my actual picks. Ipsy used to do 
more like mainstream brands, like brands that you have heard of that are at like Sephora and Ulta and Beautylish and whatnot. They used to have like Fenty and they used to have like Give Beauty and they used to have, um, oh, I don't know, go look on Sephora and those brands were on, in these Ipsy boxes. And they'll be, and this is what I have found, at least for me. Maybe other people are actually getting these brands in their boxes, but for me, I'm not. This is, so this is what's happening for me. They will have those brands as part of like the spoilers. And so then you're like, okay, cool. They're going to be in the box. Awesome. For me, they're not actually available. Like I won't get them in my power picks. I won't have them as choices. So then, then once I've made my choices, they're like, okay, now pick your add-on so you can spend more mo money. Those name brands are available for me to spend more money on top of the $30 that I've spent for this box. They're like, oh, okay, now you can get Fenty. Now you can get Give Beauty. Now you can get whatever the, I keep saying that, whatever the brand is, now you can get it in the add-ons. Pat McGrath is in there as well. Natasha Denona. Now you can get them. And I'm like, I already spent $30. I don't really want to spend more money. I, I, I already spend enough money as it is because I'm a shopaholic. So I'm very disappointed in Ipsy because they have these brands that they're showing off and, and making you think, oh, good, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this these spoilers with, I'm going to get Pat McGrath, I'm going to get Natasha Denona, I'm going to get Fenty, I'm going to get something awesome. But they're not in my box. I don't even have the option of picking them. They're only available for add-ons for you to spend more money to get them. And secret, secret, not really a secret because I feel like you guys probably know, but I bought it. I bought the Fenty perfume. So I spent more money to get this because I wanted it. It was still a good deal. Kind of. Let, okay. Let's break it down. Why I'm saying kind of, I, I believe it was $12 on the Ipsy site. This is an over $30 perfume. All of the math, all of the numbers I'm giving you estimates because I don't have the exact numbers in my brain, but the exact numbers will be in my description box. So this Fendi perfume, this 10 mil perfume is 30 ish, 34, maybe dollars. It being $12 is even more than half off. You know what I mean? And it's been on my Sephora wish list. So I'm like, okay, great. I can get it for more than half off yet. But if you think about it, I spent $12 plus the $30 for this Ipsy box. That makes it 42. I spent $42. This month, plus we're not even talking about, you know, the shipping and, and all those fees. I spent 42-ish dollars <laughs> on this box plus the spray. If I like the other stuff in the box, it's worth it, the $42. As you can probably tell, I'm not too jazzed about it. I really wanted this spray and I had to spend an extra $12 to get it. And so if it's not an actual option in my box, I'm like, Really? I have to spend more money on top of the 30 I'm already spending? So the shine is gone from Ipsy for me. I have gone on and off with Ipsy and BoxyCharm for probably like 10 years that I've been getting it. At the beginning, obviously 10 years ago, it was really, really awesome. And there's been years of awesome and not years of awesome and years of awesome and not years of awesome. And I just feel like right now, it's not really awesome. Them having these amazing brands and not actually putting them in my box is lame. It's lame. The reason I was, I kind of resub, I, I resubscribed to Ipsy was because I wanted more mainstream brands because the ice cream box has those indie brands. And so I was like, okay, let's get the indie brands, the brands that like I haven't heard of or are new indie brands to the market. Let's get those in ice cream. And the brands that I have heard of and I, I'm, I'm going to be able to get stuff that I've been wanting and has been on my Sephora wish list. Let's get that through Ipsy. It slash Ipsy boxy charm. And I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. I'm just spending $30 a month on choices that I don't even want. I pick them and I'm like, I don't, there's none of it. Like there's five choices and I don't want anything from those five choices for all three of them. What I'm trying to get at is that it's lost its shine. It's lost its sparkle. And I'm, I'm not having fun with Ipsy anymore. So let's talk about this Fendi that I did get and I did want, but I ended up having to spend extra money for. And 
let's see if it still smells as good as I remember it smelling when I, when I smelled it at a Sephora. Ooh, it's strong. It's good though. I would say it's almost a unisex fragrance because it is musky, kind of masculine, but it is also kind of floral and feminine. Like <laughs> when people would try to, you know, describe it, I'd be like, okay, I, I need to go smell this in store because it is, I feel like complex smell. I would say if you do not like musky fragrances, this is not for you. It isn't a sweet gourmand fragrance. And I do really like sweet gourmand fragrances. So it's more of like a, a date night luxurious fragrance. Anyways, I like it. I'm glad I have it. I think it's very luxurious, but I wish it would have just come in my box. Let me tell you now that I've been talking for like 10 minutes about this box <laughs> and I haven't even gotten into it. Let's tell you the power picks that Ipsy picked for me. So one of them, this, it is Volition. It is an overnight retinol serum. Okay. So when I saw that Ipsy picked this for me, I, at first I was annoyed because I have a ton of serums. I really do. It's just something that I have a lot of because of Ipsy. I ran out of an overnight, like slash, I, I used up. I used up my last overnight serum and I was like, okay, I went into my Alex 9 drawer and I was looking for another overnight serum and I only had one left. Okay, could I use a regular serum and not an overnight serum? Yeah, of course I could. But I like having a specific overnight serum because usually they have more retinol in them or they have, they have more like anti-aging things in them for the overnight. And the normal serums, like the day to night serums or the day serums are just kind of hyaluronic acid and, and moisturizing. And so I like to have a night serum to put on at night before I go to bed. So honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad to have this. I, as soon as I run out of the one I'm now using, I will now have a backup and I use night serums every night. So it's good. It is, it says retinol. It has niacinamide. It has hyaluronic acid. It's a good, it's a good serum. So I'm, I'm happy to have it. The next thing that Ipsy picked for me was from Tula. And I really do like Tula. Tula is one of those skincare brands that I get along with. I think that they are luxurious and they are refreshing. And I have liked every product I've gotten from Tula. So I feel like though, I haven't ever bought anything from Tula. I usually just get them in subscription boxes. Yeah, I think that's about right. So anyways, about everyone that I've gotten, I've liked. This is a Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Okay, this is great. This is great. And it's in the shade Light 07 Light Medium Warm. Okay, this is perfect because um, it is July. So having a sunscreen is good. And also I will have a... I guess skin tint to put on and I like skin tints. I think they're nice. I've talked about this many times before that I don't like having like too much coverage on my skin. So this is perfect. Would I have picked it? I actually might have picked it because I like Tula and I like skin tints. Do I, but I do own a lot of skin tints, but still it's fine. It, it's good. Okay. So the next three things were things that I picked based on the options that they gave me. They gave me like five choices and I was able to pick from those five. Okay, so the next thing I got is from Laura Geller. Okay, so this is technically a name brand. And so you're like, I thought you said, Bianca, that there are no name brands. Okay, yes, but name brands that I want. Laura Geller is a name brand, but it's more geared towards like older women. And I guess I am 38, so I'm, I'm, be, I'm nearing towards the older woman age. It's hard to actually like accept that you're nearing that age and that you're like, okay, it's time for me to shop at Laura Geller and cause I'm, I'm an older woman and this stuff would be best for me. I like, I feel like I'm still like, Oh, I want colorful makeup and I want fun makeup. And I'm not there yet in my head, even though in my body I'm getting close. Technically this is a name brand. It's just, I don't even think Laura Geller is sold at Sephora, but anyways, it doesn't matter. It's just not the name brand that is on my Sephora wish list, or even if they're at Ulta, my Ulta wish list. I don't even know where they're sold because they're not on my wish list because I don't, it's not, I'm not mentally there yet. <laughs> but did I pick this? Yes, I did because I didn't want any of the other things. Usually when I don't want things 
in the categories, I'll tend towards picking makeup because I prefer makeup over skincare. It is an eye, lip, and cheek palette. I mean, that's nice having uh, an all-in-one kind of, I think it is a, a bronzer, blush, and highlighter. So we can use that today and hopefully get a nice look with it. All right, what do we have? Yeah, actually no, this is two blushes and a highlight. And the two blushes, actually, this is my preferred formula. So as much as I'm not happy about this, we do have my preferred formula, which is two, the, the blushes are cream and the highlight is not cream, it's powder. So at least there's that. The next thing that I picked is from a brand I've never heard of. And this is what I was talking about, those brands. When it's a brand I've never heard of, I would prefer it to be in the ice cream beauty box because it's like, it's uh, like indie brands that I've never heard of. And that's what I'd rather have than brands I've never heard of in Ipsy. Anyways, this is from um, JX, I guess. And it's the bronzer. It is in the shade Luna Bright. Just Xmina is the brand. Again, what I said, if I, if I don't like anything in the categories, I usually prefer to, te I, I tend towards getting a makeup item. So that's what we did here. We got a bronzer. And this bronzer has, I feel like it's kind of copying a bronzer that I've seen. I never owned, but I've seen. It's from Kevin Aquan. It is like this bronzer that goes from dark to light and it has that gradient, which is kind of nice because at least for me, my skin tone does change over the year for two reasons, because I go outside more in the summertime and so I do get more sun, but also I use bronzing, like fake bronzing drops in the summertime. So that's another reason that I get darker in the summertime. So I guess you could use the darker side for me in the summertime and the lighter side in the wintertime. Also, because I have a big collection, I just have like winter bronzers and I have summer bronzers, but not everyone has that. So this is nice for, you know, people with a normal sized makeup collection. <laughs> okay, the last thing that I chose from the Ipsy categories was from Chica Beauty. This brand I actually have heard of because of Ipsy, but again, it's not those mainstream brands. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's a brand that I've only heard of because of Ipsy. It is a Champagne Glow Highlighter Duo. So here we go again. We had, I couldn't pick, I was having a hard time picking anything from this category, so I went with makeup. And this is a, not even my favorite kind of highlighter. So why did I get it? <sighs> because I didn't want anything else. <laughs> Um, so it is two-sided. We have the, it is like a stick highlighter. And then we have on the other side, a liquid highlighter. So the reason I say it's not my favorite is because I don't like a, a liquid slash balm highlighter. I prefer a powder highlighter. Okay, cool. There is my Ipsy box. I will have in the description box how much I paid, including the Fenty, perfume and how much it's actually worth. Uh, I'm sure it's worth over a hundred dollars. I just, to me, is it worth that? No, it's not. For me, I really like obviously the Fendi, but I pick that out. Um, I do like the Tula and this. So I do really like my power picks and I just wish this would have, why couldn't I have gotten the Fenty as one of my picks? Why couldn't I, why couldn't I pick that out? I'm annoyed that I couldn't. It's annoying. Next box, Ice Cream Beauty. And it always comes with the lovely card inside that talks about everything inside and the prices, which makes it really easy for me to do my description box, which I just love. So the theme this month for ice cream is in the clouds. This month was the first time in a long time that Ice Cream Beauty actually gave us a choice. They had normally for ice cream, they just have five things in there that they curate and you get the same five things that every single Ice Cream Beauty box person gets. And that's great because they do a really good job of curating. But this month, there was two different palettes that you got to choose from Wait to see what I picked. The first thing that I see in the box is right here. It is from Ofra Cosmetics. And you know, I love that Ice Cream Beauty Box has Ofra. This has been in the box several times. And I love that because Ofra is a brand that is all, a lot of the times on my Ulta wish list. It is a pressed powder oil control. It's $29. Okay, so this is not 100% perfect for me for a couple of reasons. I have very dry skin. So even, even like I went on a walk the other day and it was 100 degrees outside 
and I was only really sweating on the back of my neck. I realized that not sweating when it's hot is a sign of like, of like dehydration or is a sign of like heat stroke, but I was sweating. I just don't really sweat on my face much. It was like, I'm like, you know, there was some sweat here and, and, and the back of my neck, but it wasn't, it wasn't on my face. So I got home and I was like, oh yeah, even in like hot weather, I'm not really sweating. <laughs> And I have very dry skin, so I'm not very oily. So this is not really that perfect for me. It's really, it's a great product. It's great for other people. I just don't have the skin type for this. So this is where having more choices in the ice cream box, like where it would be more similar to Ipsy would be nice because I wouldn't have chose this. But do I love Ofra? Yes. Am I going to use it like for our try on? Yes. And I think... I think I can make it work. I wouldn't have chosen it because I don't have oily skin. And even, oh, another reason is that Utah really <laughs> isn't that hot. It was 100 degrees because we're going through a heat wave. I actually wish it were hotter here. What? That's blasphemy, I know, but I am an Arizona girl, so. Okay, another product right here. This is the Palace Identity Blossom Contour. This is $42. That's, that's, pricey right there. There are two shades available. Okay, so what shade did I get? I got warm gold. Actually, that's really good. I prefer when a bronzer is warmer, although if it were cooler, it would have been more of a contour. It's in this pretty pouch. This is some luxurious packaging right here. Whoa! This is like that that one brand, um, the Floresis. Is that it? That I have never gotten anything from because it's a little bit pricey, uh, but wow, wow. Look at that, okay, open, wow, okay. So I feel like it's a little light, um, interesting. Like this might work better for me in the winter time than in the summertime, but I don't know. I guess we'll see, maybe it's buildable, right? Okay, it's beautiful, it's beautiful though. So we're gonna try that on and see what happens. And it's actually really good because the Laura Geller one only had a blush and a highlight, and I was like, okay, I guess we're not have a bronzer, because I thought it had all three. Now we have a bronzer, so there we go. This is the third item that I'm pulling from the box. It is from Medusa's Makeup. I used to get, like, I think it was a lipstick subscription box that had Medusa's Makeup in it all the time. Anyways, sorry, blast from the past. So, what is this? It is a cruelty-free and vegan tinted lip balm awesome in the shade social it's twelve dollars the lip balm okay pretty just a pink hybrid lip balm and lipstick pretty okay great oh we still have two more things from this box next thing is from charmacy okay i have heard of this brand and it's because of ice cream that i've heard of this brand and this is volumizing mascara twelve dollars that's a pretty good price for a mascara this mascara is sweat proof. Oh my gosh, my sister was asking me about that the other day. She lives in Arizona and she's like, do you know of a sweat proof mascara? And I was like, no, <laughs> no, I didn't because I honestly don't have that problem. I told you guys it's not that hot here. And the packaging, look how luxurious that packaging is. This looks like something from like, like Tom Ford. Cool, all right, awesome. The last item is the palette, right? And there were two palettes you could choose from, and they were both from Moon Slice, right? Is that it? Yes, both from Moon Slice Beauty. So you could get the Moon Magic or Blue Moon palette. And I, which one did I get? Which one do you think I got? One of them was more blue toned, and one of them was more purple toned. I got both of them. <laughs> I was contemplating only getting the purple one because purple is my favorite. I get purple, eyeshadow anytime there is a choice for purple but it was only like ten dollars more to get the second one and last year there was an, a choice where you could get two and the other choice it was gourmand girls which i love gourmand girls and you could get two or just get one and last year i was on a no buy and so buying an extra palette technically broke my no buy and so i only got the one but i would have loved to have gotten both last year so this year, I wasn't on a makeup no buy. And so I was like, I can, I can buy two this year. And I thought by looking at the pictures, I didn't obviously have swatches or anything at the time. Looking at the pictures, I felt like the special shadows for the blue one 
or prettier than the special shadows for this one. But let's check that out because this is the first time I'm looking at it. Looking at this, it's very beautiful. It's very purple. It's very pretty. But if I could change anything, I would have more bright, light inner corner shades. And I'm, not, I'm only seeing really one. And it's really not even that bright, light inner corner-y. That's not a word. And so the blue one is the blue moon. Obviously blue moon. The color story. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so pretty. I love these kind of like oceany mermaid -y shades. And I just felt like they ha it had some really pretty like special shades in here. And so, yeah. Yeah. And $10 for like an indie brand palette? Okay, yeah. This is why I'm a shopaholic, right? <laughs> so I'm excited. I'm excited to have both of them. The next box we have is the ColourPop Mystery Box. Let's start with the smaller items and then get towards the palettes because they're, I feel like, more exciting. Okay. And I don't shop at ColourPop a ton. So I don't know off the top of my head the prices of these. So I'm going to put it in my description box. I've gotten a couple of ColourPop mystery boxes and I watch other people open ColourPop mystery boxes. And I've been able to tell that a lot of the time they put things in these mystery boxes that are on sale. I don't remember off the top of my head what the what the value of this is supposed to be. I'm assuming it's probably supposed to be over $100. But then they put sale items in here. So it'll probably get to that, but not much over. What do we have here? This right here is from Snitchery and ColourPop. It is a Ziggy blush stick. Okay, I thought it would be a lip product. It's a blush stick. That's kind of fun. It's in this bright, you know, lime green chartreuse blush stick. That's fun. Okay, cool. Look at that. It's like a brick red color. Fun. Nice. I like that. I'm pretty excited about this. And this is not a repeat for me, so I don't already own that. Okay, cool. Next thing is a luxe gloss in the shade eclectic. Eh, I could probably go without this. Colourpop Colourpop glosses are not my favorite kind of glosses, but oh no, and look at that. That would be concealer lips. Okay, although it does have some really, you might not be able to tell, but it has some really pretty sparkles in there. That's probably a no for me. We have a shadow stick. Okay, cool. It is in the shade High Noon. You can't read that, sorry, but I'm telling you what it was. Okay, I honestly don't love ColourPop's lip products very much. So the fact that I was thinking all of these smaller things that I was going to be pulling out would be all lip products, and only one so far has been, I'm pretty, pretty psyched about it. Okay, we have a shadow stick, and it's in this, like, pink color. You know, I'm not... I wasn't swatching anything and all of a sudden I decided to swatch this. So go me. All right. That's pretty. That would make a really pretty like inner color, corner color. So nice. I like that. Another not lip product. Yay. I do like lip products. Just not really color pops. Lip products are not my favorite. Okay. This is a feather effect brow pen. Okay. So brow pens and mystery boxes are risky because not everybody has the same shade eyebrows. I feel like you can kind of like spread out and there's a little bit of leeway with like color. So I could go with like anywhere from like dark brown to like light brown. I couldn't get like a red one or like straight black because it, I, that's not the color of my eyebrows. Anyway, so what color do I have? Light brown. So I, I think that that will probably work pretty well for me. Another thing, we have a lipstick. And honestly, I was talking about, okay, saying things. I'm saying a lot of things. I was talking about how I don't like a lot of lip products from ColourPop. I don't actually think I've ever tried a lipstick, which is weird because I feel like that's like, if I've tried anything from ColourPop, I should have tried a lipstick, but I've tried like glosses and liquid lipsticks and lip stains, a, a lot of things, but I've never tried an actual lipstick. So there's that. Okay. This is in the shade Cyber Babe. Nice. And wow, that is a nice color. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, there's still tons more in here. So much more. Um, and I think all of the lip products are gone. So we only got two lip products. That's great. Okay, I got two Super Shock things. So this is a Super Shock shadow and this is a Super Shock blush. And I usually have really bad luck with Super Shock shadows. When I, I actually 
you usually don't get them from ColourPop because the I the first couple of times I ordered from ColourPop, I think even like right when I started this channel, I ordered a couple of Super Shock shadows and they came just absolutely crumbled. And I was really disappointed by that. I was like, really? Like I paid money for these and they came like a month later and they were crumbled. And I was like, I would, I, it made me sad. They're kind of a, a fragile formula, but still, they're both, you know, fully intact. So there we go. There we go. This is in the shade Rocky Start and it's a really pretty like coppery brown shade, okay? Also, I have a Band-Aid on. I may or may not have sliced my finger open with a knife when I was trying to clean it. I'm fine. I, I'm fine. I probably should have gotten stitches and I didn't. So anyways, this is Band-Aid's probably gonna be on here for a while. So you're gonna see it in probably the next lot of videos. Okay, cool. So then we got a blush, but it is a pretty like muted red, pink, peach shade. It's a nice shade. I like it. And I actually was seeing in other people's, when I was watching other people open their ColourPop mystery boxes, they were getting a bright red shade. And I had already bought that bright red shade for my like red blush video. And so I was like, oh, I really hope I don't get that red blush shade. It would be fine. I could, you know, give it away. But I was hoping I would get a different shade. And I did. So that's good. Okay, so now all we have is palettes. We have one, two, three, four palettes. There's 11 items in here for 50 bucks. That's pretty good. And it was like free shipping as well. So pretty good. Orange you glad. Orange you glad. I don't have this palette. I actually kind of like uh, monochromatic palettes. I think they're fun. Cause sometimes I'll just be like, I wanna do an orange look. And then I have to go like find orange shades. And if I just have a monochromatic palette, I know here we go actually I'm surprised by this there's not as much like there is there anything actually this color not really I would say it's a mixture between these two shades would be this shade weird you would think that the color of the palette would be in here like represented it weird it's not as like orange as I thought it would be there's like peach and there's brown and there's more muted orange not like straight up orange. Like when I said monochromatic orange, this is not, not what I thought. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, but it's not what I, not what is it, I was picturing in my head. Do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Okay. Another one. Okay. This is the Uh Huh Honey palette. I know Allie Dawson loves this palette and I'm thinking it is going to be a monochromatic yellow palette. Let's see if it is. Uh, another palette that I do not own, or now I do. Okay, monochromatic, yeah, okay. This is when you think monochromatic yellow, yes. Are these kind of more like fall yellows? I feel like yes. Um, this is kind of a summer yellow, but we, we're we leaning kind of more on the mustardy kind of, like the, the brownish muted yellow than like bright yellow. And like this is more bright yellow. So I am again kind of the the color of the packaging is not super matching inside of the palettes, but it still is pretty and I still like it. Although if you this inner shade is a glitter and I'm not a huge fan of glitter. Like I, I guess it's not a loose glitter, but of 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 glittery shades. I feel like they get everywhere. And in this orange one, I didn't mention it then because I didn't think about it, but that one is a glitter also. So, eh. okay, we have the Miss Bliss. Okay, cool. We have another orange palette, but I feel like this is not a monochromatic orange. This is just, yeah, it's, it's not, but it is kind of in that range. Like they're all kind of a muted orangey pinky shade. Anyways, I really like this. I personally usually like a lot of like rich colors. I think they're like jewel tones. I really like jewel tones. And I love bright eyeshadow. Me along with the rest of the world have found out that eyeshadow is out. And I don't care. I'm still gonna wear eyeshadow. But I feel like maybe I could kind of transition a little bit and wear more uh, natural eyeshadow. You know, I don't have to do a bright, purple, bright, you know, teal eyeshadow look every time. I could do some more muted eyeshadow looks. And so look, here we go. 
I don't own this. Okay, last item from this box. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. This is uh, probably my favorite thing. Lilac you a lot. I don't own this one. Yay, so no repeats. Awesome. I think this is one of their monochromatic palettes. So this is probably gonna be a lilac palette. But based on the other ones, none of them are gonna match this exact color. That's just a guess. I, I think I'm wrong. That one matches pretty darn close. Oh my gosh. Also, I feel like an idiot. I was going like this to see, but the, outs the color's right here. Guys, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep lately, so it's fine. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And as I was talking about, more muted colors are something I'm going to try for in the future. And I feel like I love purple. And this is purple with more of a muted tone to it. I mean, these two are kind of bright, but you know, we've got some mutedness to this. Awesome. I'm so glad. Now I have to look at this orange one and see if that is what I was talking about. No. Okay, good. Okay. 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 I was thinking I was going like loopy, guys. I, I was like, I thought that the inner part was orange. No, it wasn't. Look, it's a different color. Okay. All right. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not losing my mind. Maybe a little. Okay. I knew kind of what was going to be in this color pop box because I said that I would watch other content creators, but then I ordered it and it took a while to get here and I completely forgot what was inside of it because I have the memory of a gnat. So I'm really excited. I have no repeats. I only have two lipsticks and one of them, the, the actual lipstick, I'm, I'm jazzed about. It's the lip gloss that I'm not. So there's only one thing in this box that I'm like, mm, and it's lip gloss and I'll probably give that one away. But all of, so there was 11 items in here and 10 of them I'm jazzed about. So that makes it like, cause it was $49, what's around up to 50. It's like $5 a, a piece for these things. Awesome. Awesome. I'm thrilled. I'm jazzed. Although I'll put the real prices in my description box. All right, let's put this makeup on. We have this Tula in light, was it, was it light? 07. Okay. So hopefully this will be kind of light for me. I was gonna say a good match, but you know, it's a skin tint. Skin tints, you know, they're fine. They're fine. Also I'm putting, if you're wondering why I kind of put on a lot, it's because uh, I feel like because I have dry skin, my face absorbs a lot, but also it is a sunscreen. And so I feel like when they're sunscreen, I usually kind of <sighs> overdo it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when it's a sunscreen, you should do a little bit more to get more of that sunscreen. Although my primer is also a sunscreen. So, um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You do you, but relying just on your foundation as your sunscreen probably is not the wisest option. Also, I overdid it. You're right. You were right. I did overdo it, but am I going to still make it work? Yeah, I am. Cool. Everything's fine. I feel like it's blended in, but whenever I feel like it's blended in right now, I need to blend a little bit more because then I find out via <laughs> editing, I haven't. So when I feel like it's blended in, I need to blend for another minute. Okay. That looks nice. Did I ever do it? Yeah, I did. Does it end up looking nice? Yeah. And it's like dewy, which is nice. Should we fix the dewiness with this powder? Normally I wouldn't because dewiness is fine, but because we have the powder, I'm like, why not? Let's just, let's just do it. I think I took down some of the dewiness, which is nice. Okay. Nice powder. Um, now we have our two eyeshadow palettes. I have the purple and I have the blue. I feel like I could do a combination of blue and purple. What do you guys think? Blue in the outer corner to purple? Yeah. Okay. I just did it. I just thought of it and it's, it's happening. I feel like some of these shades are awfully close. Now that I've looked at it, like this shade and this shade are too close and maybe we only needed one and then we could have done a lighter 
duochrome, like white to blue, because I love those kind of, I love duochromes, and th this kind of is close. Anyways, I know it's a kind of monochromatic blue palette, but we could have probably done some, played with some things. Anyways, it's fine. Let's do some transition here. That's what I'm going to do. So this video is in a million years. I've just thought about it. Let's just do one eye on camera because these videos are always really long. And I don't mean for it to be, but if any of you have been here for a while, it's because I'm a talker. And if any of if you've just watched this video, you know, <laughs> it's because I'm a talker. Which blue do I want for the outer corner? Uh, I don't want to go that dark. So let's go like that one. I don't want to go with that dark. Let's go with this kind of uh, cobalt blue. My brush already has some teal in it. Uh, so maybe I shouldn't have went with that one, but I did. So it's, it is what we're going with. Also only doing one eye helps if I end up not liking the look, which unfortunately happens to me on occasion. I can just only want wipe off one eye. <gasps> no. Okay, sorry. I had a thought. I had an idea that I should do one eye blue, one eye purple, um, which is a good idea and which is fun. But I have two other videos I want to film after this. And so I'm not going to do that. I'll do a little blending here. There we go. Honestly, you can never blend too much. Okay, maybe you can, but I haven't found that. Okay, so now we did the blue. Let's go with purple. This guy? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look. We have some purples that are very similar. Like these two purples, pretty darn similar. And kind of the same, like these three are really similar. We could have gotten some, some other, like what was I saying? Like a white toned purple du duochrome in here. And then I would have been thrilled with that. I would have been thrilled. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put this purple shade. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. So pretty. Let's see what we have here. We have, oh, the shimmer is actually not as bright as I was hoping for. Okay, maybe I can do this color in between where those two are blending. Yeah, so I can get them, because this is kind of a bluey purple. And so I was hoping maybe I could get those to blend better having a shimmer on top. I think I did it. I think that was a good choice of mine. Okay, then I'm going to take this color and we're going to put it right here. Awesome. And then this bright pinky color, right? <gasps> I know. Okay. And we can do that color pop shimmer if this isn't good enough. I, I just saw it on my hand. And so it made me think of it. Remember how I talked to you about that would be a really pretty inner corner. I think that this eye look is not my favorite, but there's some things that I can do. There's some, I can try to fix it a little bit. We have this color stick from ColourPop that I can probably, yeah, nice. Yeah, there we go. It was not a really pretty color. Yeah, maybe I can go, there we go. Nice. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. I'm going to do this eye and put on an eyeliner and I'll be back. Both eyes are done. I feel like I look like a My Little Pony a little bit, like, but I, I don't mind it. I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's a little bit like, I feel like kind of spring. Like I would do kind of this look in the spring, but I feel like it can work for summer too. I don't know. I'm saying a lot of things. Okay. So let's do the rest of my makeup. We have bronzer. So we have this bronzer right here and we are going, Oh no, we have two bronzers. Okay. I feel like this is kind of a contour, even though it's not supposed to be, it said it was supposed to be a warm bronze, but meh. okay. So we're going to put this one as kind of a contour. <gasps> Oh, I hope you guys saw that it that had, okay. I should have said this before I just wiped it off, but I didn't know. I didn't know. There were in the middle of these flowers, there was a little 
like gold overspray and it completely is gone now so it's gone okay I was hoping that this would be you know buildable and and deep enough for me even in you know the summer months and I think it works beautiful that's nice that looks good it's a nice contour slash bronzer right okay now let's go with my bronzer brush and into this one and I'm gonna go towards more of the deep side because it is summertime let's see if I can actually see anything come out okay I know it's hard to I feel like I'm not giving this one the full advantage because I already had the other one on but I just feel like there's not a lot of pigment here hmm. okay I like the ice cream one better what was this one called it was from palace identity I like that one better okay so then let's do blush we have from Laura Geller because it is a cream blush I'm gonna use the bottom of my beauty sponge and Let's go with more of this one because it's more like neutral e, and I feel like I have a pretty uh, bright eye look on today, so I feel like a more neutral blush is probably a better option. There we go. The nice thing about Laura Geller is that, as I said before, it is more for an older clientele, and I'm gonna be there, so it will look good on the wrinkles that I do have and it is supposed to be you know good for skin and not showing wrinkles and texture and which is nice so I need to not be up on my high horse about this brain <laughs> okay look at that that's pretty that is a pretty blush let's put this ColourPop one I feel like it is a similar tone and so I'll just top it off with so that it isn't still creamy fabulous okay now we have two highlighters right we have this one and the one from Laura Geller <sighs> I don't actually know how this one is supposed to be used is it like is this one supposed to go on first and then the other one on the bottom like with Patrick Ta there's like an order you know what I mean uh let's do like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of just, of just going like that. Ooh, it's actually really pretty. I was scared and it is pretty. I shouldn't be so scared. It's really very pretty. Now, maybe to make it less natural, I put this one on top of that. Yes. Oh, heavens. Oh no, oh no. Well, I, I learned it. I learned it really quickly. What? <laughs> so for the more natural look, just do the balm, just do the cream. And for a more stunning look, the liquid is there. Awesome. And I kind of blended it out. I could have probably, and this is part of the reason I don't really like liquid highlights because I feel like they always just kind of blend out and then they're gone and my face just absorbs them and then they're gone it is really pretty I just feel like that one's already kind of gone hmm. am I gonna do more uh, a little bit I don't know if that's a good choice or a bad choice but it's the choice that I'm making okay so then we have this eyebrow pencil thing that we got from color pop it's a pretty good eyebrow pen but oopsie honestly I have to say eyebrow pens are not really my favorite my eyebrows are too sparse that eyebrow pens ends up taking me a really long time because I have such sparse little eyebrows but then they end up looking like really natural because it does like you know natural hair strokes Anyways, whatever. <laughs> it's a good eyebrow pen. 
which is nice because ColourPop is usually like a pretty good price. So to get a nice eyebrow pen, oh, so you can see I got it on my skin there and that would be the color. That's a nice color. I think it matches my eyebrows. So it's nice to be able to get um, a good eyebrow pen for a reasonable price. Lips. I would like to use, I'm gonna use the Medusa's makeup. I have kind of a bold lip or a bold eye, so I think we could do this kind of liquid lip. Plus my lips are pretty dry right now because it's summertime, so I feel like this is our, our best option for lips. Look at that. It doesn't really have color at all. Okay. Oops, I made it chunky, but it is a very minimal color. That's nice. It's definitely more lip balm than lipstick, which is nice, which is nice. Okay, so we have mascara, and we have the Charmacy Sweat Proof Mascara. And I feel like I said that I'm going to tell my sister about this if it works but I don't sweat on my face that much. So how do I know if it works? I'm going to have to induce a lot of sweating with this and see what happens. Or I'll just tell my sister about it anyways. <laughs> I would say it's not like my favorite kind of brush. I personally like the like plastic bristle brushes and not these like actual hair fiber brushes. But to each their own. I know there are people who don't like the fiber or the, you know, the plastic fiber brushes and they like natural ones. Mascaras are funny because what they are when you get them, first get them out of the package, never ends up being exactly like what they end up being in like two weeks from now. Like the formula kind of dries out and develops and becomes something else, which is kind of fun. It's a very liquidy formula right now. I would say I'm not seeing a lot of volume and it's taking a lot of layering and they're kind of getting clumpy like that this one is clumping okay do you see the difference oh we got underneath meh so this is the one with this is the one without with without with it's okay again it's mascara is a thing you don't really judge too harsh until You've had it for a bit? Okay. I'm going to put on the other eye and then we'll talk. Okay. So here is the finished look. It is, it is me, you know. I think that I was able to get a really cohesive look with using two different boxes and actually even a little bit from the ColourPop box. So three boxes and I was able to get a cohesive look. Actually, that's pretty good because I feel like in the, the last two months, my, my look ended up not being as cohesive as I wanted. So I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. Like I feel like the lip goes is kind of pink and it matches pretty well with what I'm working with here. Okay, and I feel like I have like a glowy, like summery kind of look. Not too shabby. Let's talk about these boxes. Ipsy. Um, I ended up using all of the products. Uh, or most of them, you know, most of the makeup products that I could. And I, I make them work, you know, uh, I, I, the Laura Geller worked, the, the bronzer worked, the highlighter worked, and the skin tint worked, you know, but were they things that like, I really wanted? No, no, they, they weren't. I'm not super thrilled about the Ipsy. And I think I'm gonna have to think really hard about this, about canceling, because I've done two boxes on this unboxing video for so long that I'm like, should I just have just ice cream? Is that, I mean, I love ice cream, so I could just unbox ice cream. Like, I don't have to have two. What do you guys think? Do you think that, would, would you watch a video where I was just unboxing the ice cream box and then every once in a while throwing another one in? Would that be something you'd like to watch or would you like it if I have multiple boxes? Is that something you prefer to watch multiple boxes? Putting them on, I guess I'm a little bit happier because they ended up working and the highlighter ended up being better than I thought it would be. I just wish there would be more of those brands that I'm excited about. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, and I'm glad I got the Fenty perfume. I just had to pay extra for it. 
Then the ice cream. Oh, I'm always excited about the ice cream beauty box. I think there's only been one month that I wasn't excited. And it was like a month I didn't even film because I ended up getting another, like the Slay Glam beauty box didn't come till January. And I could have just put up the ice cream box, but I didn't. And anyways, so you guys didn't even see the December one, but I didn't, for some reason, I just didn't like that one. But <laughs> that like out of the years and years I've been doing this, there's only been one box that I was like, meh, meh. I've always loved the ice cream beauty boxes. These palettes, I have had better indie brand palettes like that have more special shades. Like I feel like the special shades in this are a little not that special. They're just kind of shimmery. They're not like dual chrome, multi-chrome special. And usually indie brands have like special shimmery shades. The I feel like these two palettes, it's the mattes are where it's at. The matte colors are bright and pretty and special. Um, but I feel like with indie brands, it's the, it's this, those shimmer shades that you really are just getting something special from. So not that I don't, I'm not like, yay, happy for these palettes. Cause I am, I just, I guess I was looking for a little bit more oomph with those because they're indie brands and indie brands do eyeshadow palettes, right? So, um, not that I'm going to count out like moon slice beauty. I, I would still try a palette or two from them. I just, these are okay. They're not knocking my socks off. They're not like a flop or anything, but they're, they're, mm, eh, mm. okay. Anyways, this ended up being really good. I thought it might be too light, but it ended up like going right and carving out my cheekbone really well. And it's beautiful packaging. I just, I think that the ice cream beauty box knocked it out of the park again and being able to choose was fun. Getting to choose blue or purple. And then I got to get both. That was fun. The color pop box. That was great. That was great. I got no repeats. That was amazing. So this, I think whole video has been really good. I think I got a fun look. I think it was a, a win. So what did you guys think of this video? Did you like my makeup look? Did you like the boxes? Did you guys get any of these boxes? Let me know. All right. Well, if you like this video, like this video. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. And why don't you just push that bell so that you'll be notified of my videos. And most importantly, most importantly, and I'm telling this to myself too, because I always need to tell myself this, be nice to yourself because you are amazing. All right. Have a great day. Bye.